Why is leadership a board topic? In a crisis like this pandemic, the most important thing is to ensure the most effective leaders are in place and performing well. And as a leader, it's to know yourself, to be at ease in handling uncertainty and have a deep understanding of the situation of your people, customers, and organization faces right now. What are your board challenges? How to see past distraction and know what your leaders really require? How to attract the most relevant leaders? How to find and engage the best possible leaders for your organization? And how to select predictively? How to correctly choose leaders that will perform immediately and create a successful future? What is leadership not? Compared to three, five years ago, organizations do not accept anymore the old fashioned top down leadership because of the economic impact, the negative impact on talents, and so on. The impact is too high. The decisiveness to lay off such managers increased fundamentally, what was not the case five years ago. What is leadership not? On the other hand, supermen are your current problem. Good relational skills, good results, excellent in managing their superiors and their internal career, always willing to be visible, excellent in coaching some team members, definitely the ones he or she can take advantage of. On first sight, top managers. And if you deep digger, they manage their career much more than they develop their team members. They don't create new leadership unless people who can support their own career. A lot of hype yours leaves companies because of this those supermen. They often black nascent talent. They like to keep the gap between them and others unless for those people who can support their career. We need leaders valuing the interest of stakeholders, employees, people, rather than using people for individual gain. This is a key question for yourself as leader too. The market has plenty of managers that lost their market value. Staying relevant, learning, growing as leader is a never-ending journey. This is also a key question for boards. How to keep your leaders and your board relevant? If you look to leadership, the core of leadership did not change. It's about envisioning, decide what needs to be done, strategy. It's about execution, planning an organization, ensuring, ensuring everyone do the job, and engaging, creating networks of people, connecting people managers. Formal and informal leadership, connecting with people, transformal project teams. We need skills to have impact internally and externally in your department and in other departments with your superior, but also with other superiors. Building relations across the whole organization is one of the key skills much more important than ever before. Hierarchical structures are only frameworks with a lot of gray zones. They are not any more fixed building blocks to work in. The environment is changing faster than structures can change. So you need to have skills to influence people and have a meaningful impact on colleagues and people. Due to COVID, we all see an inflation of digital leadership courses and webinars. Don't believe in it. Digital leadership, not in the sense of digital transformation of an organization, does not exist. It is not because of the digital setup that you have big leadership issues. The digital setups makes bad or less developed leadership much more visible. Leadership is a whole, not a medium. 